Hello, everyone. This is Al Fadi, and uh, we welcome you again to uh, this. Uh, uh, seems to be, uh, uh, you know, a fantastic series in terms of refuting the uh, supposed scientific miracles of the Quran. Uh, last time, uh, myself and Dr. J. Smith addressed one of those uh, claims that has to do with why mountains exist. And I thought Dr. J. Smith did an excellent job in even illustrating uh, different uh, geological uh, formations and explanations of why mountains exist and how they are forming, and therefore uh, debunking this claim that the mountains supposedly are created to stabilize the earth. Today, we're going to get into another uh, one of those claims. This time, it's talking about Siemens and the fact that Siemens originates in the back or in the kidney of the male. So, Dr. J. Smith, welcome back. What do we have to say about this, my friend? Seamen. Yeah. And this is not the men who are on the sea who yeah. are uh, marines. No, this is the seamen that create you and me. That's right. This is the, 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 the that we all know where that comes from. And I don't think we need to explain that here. Uh, if you've so today is biology. The birds and the bees, you know where the seamen comes from. That's but right. let's open up to uh, chapter 86, Surah 86, uh, verse 5, 6, and 7. And I'm just going to read it from the Quran in the English uh, translation, sorry, not the translation, the interpretation of the meaning of the Noble Quran. But nonetheless, you'll get to see what it says here. So, let man see from what he is created. So, where is man created or woman created? Now, this is generic. He is created from a water gushing forth, proceeding be from between the backbone and the ribs. So, we're talking about the kidneys here. Between the backbone and the ribs is the kidneys. Right. If that is the case, I would question whether or not whoever wrote that had ever really looked and understood where the semen comes from. Obviously, it's uh, that this is, I would say this is an error. But why would they say this? That's well, right. There's always a source for it. There's always, not always, but in this case, there is a source for it. And we can go back to the Greek writers. In the 5th century BC, yep. you have Hippocrates. Hippocrates is well known as a writer. He did an awful lot of studies. He did awful studies on bees. And that's why people like to use him. And he also talked about this very thing, that the semen comes from the kidneys between the backbone and the ribs. Almost exactly what is written in the Quran has been borrowed from that source. Now... Okay, you say, that, did Hippocrates make a mistake? Yes, he did. Obviously, he made a mistake. But I would even go one step further and say, how is it that it got into the Quran then? Well, if you want to look and ask, where is it that we get all this material from the Greeks from? Socrates, Aristotle, Hippocrates. Uh, we don't have any of their originals. They don't exist. Everything we know about the Greeks and what they wrote, these great Greek scholars and philosophers, was translated by the Muslims themselves in the 9th and 10th century. Yeah, they just... took their writings, translated them into Arabic, and then they got rid of their writings. I don't know why they did, because we don't have any of them to go back to see how well they translated them. But what was fascinating, in translating and having access to these Greek writings, they incorporated and borrowed an awful lot of them, the duality that we see in chapter 85, verse uh, 22, this duality of this preserved tablet, this idea that uh, all right through the scriptures of God never entering time and space, that God's up here and man's down here and needs these intermediaries, these, right. these demiurges. What is a demiurge? That's Greek. That whole duality of God being solely other and not being able to inter have intersect with man that we see in the Bible is straight out of that, the, the Greek text. In borrowing the Greek text, they also borrowed the Greek concepts. In borrowing the Greek concept, in this case, they borrowed where Hippocrates thought that semen comes from. Now, we know good and well it comes from the testes, not from the kidneys. Absolutely, and science can prove that. And if any Muslim have any doubts about that, then we have a problem. Well, brother, thank you so much for sharing uh, this with our audience, and we hope that they find this very helpful in your own uh, interactions with our Muslim friends. This, the reason why we're doing it one by one is we, you want to, uh, we would like for you to have it as a tool makes it easier for you to share about a specific claim. And Lord willing, we will continue to add more and more uh, to this series as uh, we find some of those interesting ones that are being often used by our Muslim friends. Until we meet again, have a blessed day. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Also hit the bell 
so that you don't miss future videos. And please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com forward slash Sira International. And together we can introduce Muslims to the gospel of Jesus Christ. Thank you.